Back off. Back off, son. I will- I will wreck your shit. Welcome back, everybody, to Subnautica. I'm IGP, and in the last episode, we finally fixed the Aurora. Well, not really fixed. I mean, look at this thing. We didn't really fix it. We just plugged the radiation leak, basically. We welded up the engine room, which was leaking radiation everywhere, and it should clear up in the game in about three days game time. So in the meantime, we're going to make sure that we're all ready to make it to the Jelly Shroom Caves because we're going to the next place that the Degassi survivors went to, the abandoned base in the Jelly Shroom Caves. So, let's go ahead and get started. I think uh, we put an upgrade into the Sea Moth in the last episode that should give us enough depth to get down to the Jelly Shroom Caves because I think it goes around 400, 500 meters. It, that actually might be pushing it because I think that's as, that's as low as the Deep Grand Reef. So, I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully it's enough. If not, we have our rebreather and our uh, Sea Glide to guide us there. Okay, so I hear the Reaper. I do not see him, though. I hear the Reaper, I don't fear the Reaper. Alright, let's get back home real quick. So, let's go ahead and plug this bad boy up, recharge it. I think it'll heal a little bit too. Looks like the lights are out in my base. That's crazy. Alright, let's get the welder out here. Go ahead and weld this. I think it should be- there we go. Alright, cool. Oh, let's not get in. I meant to- I meant to go back. I think it might be fully charged. It's charged anyway. Alright, so that's good. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's take this time, since we're waiting on the radiation to clear up. Now, I think the radiation works in a sponge-like fashion. So, like, when it extended out and covered an area, it's going to slowly retract as the days go by. I don't think I have to wait three days and then all of a sudden it just disappears. So I think I might be safe to go low into the Jelly Shroom Caves without worrying about radiation. But, who the hell knows? Seamoth is docked. Let's go ahead and edit our Seamoth here. We're going to call this, again, the Pro Floater. And, uh, we're gonna give it a really in-depth, deep, vibrant color. I'm thinking maybe, like... I liked green, but I do like yellow. I might go yellow, like a goldish... Like the golden floater. Oh, wait a second, I'm totally misunderstanding this. I see. So, I thought, like, this was the first- like, it was a hierarchy. I thought, like, you click this, and then you have two options for that one. And then you click this, you have two options. But I was totally mistaken that. Okay, so the interior, I want to be, like, a velvet. That's gonna look really pretty. Uh, the name I want to be red, and then the stripe one can be black, stripe two can be another gold. Actually, let's do the red. Let's do the red tint. Let's just take a look and see how this looks. That's pretty, that's pretty darn sexy. Look at that. I like it, guys. I like it. I'm gonna leave it like this. I love the purple interior. This looks hyper futuristic. So that's good. I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Next, what I'm gonna do to pass some time, I'm gonna go ahead and create some, uh, food. I know you guys recommended the hanging tree fruit, so I'm actually gonna go back to the floater islands off camera and get some fruit because that'll pass some time and hopefully the radiation will be gone by then. I don't think I have a concern about it, but I might as well since... I just fixed the Aurora anyway, and plus I need food. Bad. I drank some water out of this, so we're good on water for now, but the, the fruit should help for both. I'll uh, head over there, gather some stuff, gather some titanium, and we'll be back to build some awesome schnaz. Guys, guys, I found another PDA. I didn't even realize that that thing existed. You guys said there was some on the path, but I'm not even, I'm not even sure which one I had. Uh, this one I read already. You brought us this fracking planet. You told us to lush payday. Now we get half of us dead. A pile of fracking dirt in our front room. Rain coming in through the windows. And you would have avoided this how? I would have started by not taking an unscheduled detour. You never go off course. That's something you gotta learn the hard way. You know now. What exactly do you propose? Do you want to waste what time you have left lugging titanium up from the seabed? Or do you want to hit this thing head on? If we build underwater, what will we do for food? Drinking water? Power? We'll go fishing. Build water filters. We go deep enough, we gotta get thermal vents. We'll, we'll have more power than we could ever use. Chief, we'll eat fracking seaweed salad if that's what it takes, or do you got something better? I think I could make a good seaweed salad. Son, the adults are talking. I'm serious, father. If I can grow fruit on the land, I can grow seaweed underwater. We can farm fish, father. I kept us alive this long. I can keep on doing it. Jeez. All right, so we got one, two, and three, uh, and then number six of bats and number one of 
pal. That was shaky. It was hard to read. That kind of hurt my eyes, but I'm, I'm over here looking to get up there to get the uh, hanging fruit. But I was like, I'll take the path. And then, uh, yeah, I found more stuff. That's pretty cool. See, I don't know what half this stuff does. I could probably scan this stuff. It's a good idea to do that. Uh, let's go to three. But anyway, here we go, guys. We got some hanging fruit. Now, I want uh, multiples, so I'm going to get rid of that. Drink this water. Um, oh, I forgot to put that. I don't have a Cyclops. Never mind. <laughs> I'm getting enough salt. I'm going to get rid of those. I should be able to pick up two more. That'll be enough. Okay, and I'll carry this back home. What? <laughs> All this trip out for there. I think it's been a day and a half. So radiation should be relatively... What is that? I see something right over there. What is that right there? Hold on, guys. I found something, and I want to know what it is. That's a fragment. A fragment for what? Hang on now. Why is there a fragment on this island? Ha! Huh, huh. Ha! What is it? Power transmitter? Okay, let me scan it. I need that, don't I? Or something? Don't I need that? One out of two. I have a power transmitter, don't I? Don't even lie to me. Don't even li What is this? Solar panel, blueprint, sea glide. Oh. Okay. I haven't looked at my blueprints in a while. Maybe there's some new shiz. That uh, I wasn't aware of. What is this? Current generator. Okay. That's cool. Got that. So I do not have the power transmitter, is what you're telling me. Waterproof locker. Nice. Yeah, so I don't have that. That sucks. I would love to have a power transmitter because I'm going to need that eventually. I'm sure. Where's my sea moth? I need to get the hell out of here. I'm getting really distracted by a whole bunch of stuff. Is that lithium? Say what? This is a random stuff on this. What the hell is that? Salt? Okay. We're getting random item spawns on here besides the regular fruit. I don't think there was extra stuff. It's weird that they, they actually made it so that way the fragments now spawn in the wrecks, not anywhere else, really. I mean, I think there's a few at the beginning because you got to make your sea glide and stuff, but that's pretty much it. What is this right here? Cyclops bridge fragment. Hell, I'll take it. How did you get over here? <laughs> How did that even happen? Is there stuff down here I'm missing? That is weird. I don't remember even seeing that when I came in. It was nighttime when I came in, but Welcome still. Aboard, well, cool. We'll find more of that stuff later. I'm sure all the wrecks I'll eventually explore. I think there's one in the Jelly Shroom Caves. I might be mistaken. Or one on the way to the Jelly Shroom Caves. I'm going to the large organic mass by accident. Let's go to the, the sea, the life pod. All right, so second day... Uh, I waited out till the morning and I have enough titanium. I'm gonna go ahead and build another room That's just gonna be strictly actually I'm gonna do a corridor first uh, Let's do a glass corridor just because Just because I can now. I can't remember how to rotate. I might have to do this from the outside. That sucks Build a corridor here, and then we're gonna go with a room over here That's gonna house our Beds of vegetables and hanging fruit. Hopefully. I think this is how it's gonna work. I can't make a guarantee Just because I'm terrible at this, but uh, I think we'll do it up top. Oh, yeah, the locker All right now we can do this without any problem. Let's see indoor grow bed I definitely want to get that in here now. Hopefully I don't mess up how this is supposed to work This is supposed to be here and then I click on it and then plant the tree or the hanging fruit which there should be enough room for it to hang because it was only one room high in the other so let's see I got one and two three so far so hopefully this will produce enough food and water for me to uh, maintain for a bit there we go okay so hanging fruit tree and I'll just let it grow sweet so we're fine for now um, I could probably go ahead. I could do probably do another plant because I have some other things. Um, we could do another grow bed over here. Okay, so they're there just for decoration essentially and producing oxygen. I do know that the devs are working on an oxygen meter for bases, your cyclops, and your sea moth. Instead of using power to generate oxygen, you're going to have a separate oxygen meter. 
um, that's going to work against you in this game because it's, you know, not already hard enough. I'm going to get rid of this thing so that way I can expand this up more uh, and then move everything pretty much upward to the next floor on this base. Or I might move the base elsewhere. I have no idea what I'm going to do yet because I'm me and I have a hard time, you know, sticking to what I want to do. Okay, so I think we're good for now. I think at this point we can go ahead and head on over to the uh, the Jelly Shroom Caves with our brand new Spickety Span Seamoth, the Pro Floater, the Golden Pro Floater, the Golden Floater, whatever you want to call it. It's beautiful. It is definitely beautiful. Look at that interior though. Purple and gold. Should be an entrance, rather close, but again I always have a hard time finding it. Also, I didn't make my repulsion cannon. I'm an idiot. I need to do that. Propulsion cannon or the stasis rifle. Hmm. Propulsion cannon. Just because I can upgrade it. <laughs> I'm going to have to move all this stuff anyway. It's not like this thing is going to be all perfect. But I need it here. And what do we need to upgrade this? Another computer chip. Fuck me sideways. Ho, ho, shit. Yep, again. These guys are relentless. They're much more stalkers than usual. Okay, fuck off. I will beat your ass, dude. Beat your ass. Did I hit him? Ooh. Dude, sidestep swipe. The ultimate move. The ultimate move in Subnautica. Oh my god, dude. He, how did he not eat me? Limestone. Oh, titanium, okay, mm-hmm. I need to stop, I need to stop. Okay, cool. We got it. Let's do the computer chip. Workbench. Prop repulsion cannon. Woo! Finally. Ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that and uh save it. Okay, I got my flashlights. I got my water. Let's put the propulsion cannon on five. I really just need to make another battery. That'd probably be a good idea if I'm gonna be hovering around out there. Because I think I have one. No, I don't have one. I will have one now, but uh, I use the one to make the propulsion cannon or repulsion cannon, excuse me. Battery, and then let's put away this extra titanium that we don't need. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna save again because we wanna be extra safe. And uh, we're gonna head on over to our little beauty pro float over here and go find that cave opening for the godforsaken Jelly Shroom Caves. Oh man, this thing is getting beaten up so bad I think I found it. I was told there's an entrance underneath one of the wrecks. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay. I've gotten beaten up so bad, wasted so much energy trying to get down here. I suck at this game. I really do. All right, let's get out of here before they start. Now, this this looks like a man-made tunnel. This doesn't look like... This looks like someone with a terraformer. Weird. Okay. I think this is it. Now, there's a smaller cave with a mushroom in it. <laughs> but uh, I don't think this is it. I think this is the actual... Okay, it is. Alright, so I have honestly no idea what part this is at. I know it's past the, uh, from my last time being in here, if you guys remember. Okay, there's a squiddy McSquid over there. Um, from the last time, uh, I was past the, the, uh, uh, explosion, explosion, explosive things in the ground. The volcanoes, the eruptions that were happening. I don't, I'm at a loss for words right now because I'm entirely frightened that a crab snake is going to come out and attack me. Although I'm in my safe little, uh, sea moth, I don't feel like, is this it? No, it's not. Damn it. Okay, so I'm, on, I'm on probably at the opposite side. I know it's in the corner, pretty much. I don't hear any, uh, crab snakes. Oh. I think I have enough magnetite. What is that? Oh, it's another... Oh, I hear one. Oh, wait, here it is! Holy shit! Is that a king crab snake? That thing is fucking huge! Is it always that big? I found it, guys. I found it, but he won't go away. Oh, I found the cave opening right to it. This looks awesome. It's way different than it was before. It was just a tiny little one. This one's rusted over and everything. All right, well, let's get out. Oh, we might need to do our rebreather. Let's take the radiation helmet off and rebreather. Good, no radiation damage. Sweet. I think it's all done. Here's an entrance. Okay, there's a spotlight, which I have all of this for, or I have all the uh, blueprints for this, so. What is this? Uh, drooping stinger? Oh, these are one of those things that shock. Yeah, in the safe shallow caves, they're kind of in there and being crazy. Oh, goodness. PDA! Yes! Yes! I'll read these all 
When I get back to my Seamoth. Okay. Water filtration system. They pretty much had everything we did. Ooh, another one. Cool. Uh, desk chair. A lot of starfish. Explosions. This thing is gone. What is that out there? A fallen spotlight. Okay, this thing is actually really creepy. Oh, God. Look at that thing. I don't want to... What is this? What is all this? The light's on. That's very strange. The light shouldn't be on. Ooh, he's glitching through the thing. Okay. We got another bench. Ooh, a living wall. Yes! I don't think we could do a hanging tree from a living wall, but... It might work out kind of nice. Dude, it's taking forever. I need... They gotta have the rebreather, man, because this thing is... Ooh, other PDA. Hello. Okay, can I have you? May I have you, please? Uh-oh. I might need to... Oh, let's see if this works. Ha! Yeah! Smart. Oh, I didn't... What? 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 No! You did not! I have to go out there. There's another one. Do I have to go out there? I might have to go out there and, and get this thing to come back up. Ow! Oh! Oh, goodness! Oh, God! Oh, God! Did you see that? What was that? It's recovering. Fast. I don't know why it's recovering so damn fast. Okay. We gotta get out of here. I'm gonna lose my oxygen. Oh. Yeah, 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 where? There you are. Okay. Now, that's a that's a problem. I feel like that's a problem because I wanted that I wanted that thing. Do I see it underneath here? It might have fallen through. Okay, don't don't come out and attack me right now. Oh my god, this is so dangerous. Oh. Okay, maybe just maybe. Just me. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. Hell no, son. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Get away. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's not under here. Damn it. Where did it go? Oh, it, it... Terraforms. How strange. Did I actually get it, though? Okay, let me see. Let me see if I actually got it, because I'm going to be very upset. All right, so we've got one, two, three, five, and six, so that's two. Three. I did get it. I did get it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. I thought I picked it up. It just didn't say so on my screen. I got nervous for a second. Okay. Is that everything out of this base, though? No traces of anything else? I need to find a safe place to read this. Because, uh... Ooh, maybe there's something in here. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Hey. Back off. Back off, son. I will... I will wreck your shit. Alright, let me see. Yes. Sweet. Okay, it just doesn't say anything. Alright, let me get to, uh... Let me get to a safe place. Is there an air pocket anywhere? There is no air pocket anywhere. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's get on out of here. I don't like it. There's biters over here. I need to drink some water. There's an eye eye. Okay, there's a lot of eye eyes. Or oculuses, excuse me. Let me try to kill one, see what it does for food. Hey, come here. Come here, you little peeper wannabe. You're a wannabe peeper. Where? There you are. Cooked oculus. How does this do? Ooh, that's actually pretty damn good. Sweet. Okay, let's read. We got enough time. Let's read. Uh, two, and here's six. I messed up real bad this time. It's been two days since what happened. We never should have left this. I think I already had that one, actually. Did I have two and six? Or I might have had... No, I didn't have two. Here we go. We've been living in this habitat a month now. It used to be exciting, but it's more claustrophobic than I thought. There are so many predators in these caves that Marguerite is just about the only person that gets to go out there. At the all, um, all the same, excuse me. The life down here is incredible. Marguerite has been bringing back the wildest specimens you can imagine. Okay, the plant life is inedible. I learned that the hard way, but the fish down here, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes the length of two glass corridor sections. It's not easy without a proper lab and equipment, but sometimes the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, reveals things a spectroscopic analysis never would. For example, I've been watching the sea snakes that make their homes in the purple mushrooms that grow here. They await their prey and strike when small herbivores stray too close. Uh, what they don't consume settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores. And then the chain continues. Coevolution just blows my mind. That is actually incredible. Because okay, so we got one, two, and three, four. Here we go. 
Uh, this place is rad. It's not what I expected. Have you factored in the pressure of the hull construction? I reinforced the hull, installed bulkhead doors, of course. We could build an observatory deck. We could learn a lot here. Now, the foundations. They've not- they're not in the best of shape, but I guarantee you it's- if this place comes loose, it won't be the fall that kills us. Okay. Deeper. Uh-oh. We're already 300 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, chief. You know what I see? Water. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch, water above me, water below me. It's all freaking water, chief. We're drowning. Real slow. You want to live out our few remaining days eating fruit on the beach? Afraid to get... What is it you want? I want to know how to get off this freaking planet. Okay, so why would we go deeper, though? I need oxygen. Why would we go- why would they go deeper? What was the- what would be the point in going deeper, guys? Like, seriously, what would be the point in that? I really don't understand. Because, you would assume that if you're afraid of the water, you should probably live on the islands. Or go travel and see if you can find more islands, because there is another one that has more stuff. I don't understand. What would, what would be the purpose? Alright, I got enough oxygen. Let's read the others. And see what happens here. Part of another ship, none that I've ever seen. I don't know if this is voice log. Okay, this has to be it. Okay, what is that thing? I don't know. Part of another ship, none I've ever seen. It's in such good condition, it's not even scratched. It could originate here, on this planet. Don't touch it, it could be valuable. I said don't touch it. Stand down, Chief. I'm just looking. If we're going to crumble to dust, it would... It would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. It's still powered. Someone else was here recently. Either that or so long ago that no one remembers. What? What is it that you're talking about? What is it that they're talking about? I can't even think about what- what- What could that possibly be? I'm just looking if we're going- it's glowing. Something's glowing. It's still powered. Someone else was here recently. It's still powered. I don't know, guys. Am I completely stupid right now? Is it something really obvious that they're pointing out that they found? Because I can't think of it. If it's glowing and it's powered, and they're not familiar with what it is. It's nothing that I can craft myself. I don't know. Maybe there's intelligent life on here. Aside from just, you know, you know, instinct-based creatures. Maybe the Sea Emperor made something. I don't know. Oh, I wish I could find it, though. What is it you guys were looking at? There's a ladder. It's still powered. Oh god, don't make noise! It's still powered. What could it be? F fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, dude. He knows. He knows. He knows. I have, like, no energy. What is it that was powered, man? Ah, oh, this is gonna bug me. Please let me know in the comment section below if you guys know what it's referring to. I need to weld this bad boy, like, right now. Holy crap, I'm gonna die. Well, I have no idea, honestly, what it is. If you guys can let me know in the comment section below about what you think it is that they found, that's pretty crazy, but they said they want to go deeper. Does that mean that there's another base that they're going to be making? That's crazy to think about. That is crazy to think about. They may go deep. Oh, you little, you little bitch. Look at that guy. Ruining my... They won't bite me if I have full health. Okay, it's, it's still full health. Fine. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so a deeper one. I can't imagine where they would do it. Grand Reef? Deep Grand Reef? I don't even know how deep that goes. I don't even know how deep that goes. But, uh... Crazy, crazy. This is awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. I honestly have no idea how long this video is. I've done it in sections, because I've been cutting out a lot and being quiet, so... I really don't know. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.